Hello everybody, my name is Matters, playing the games that matter. Today we're checking out No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky? More like No Man's Lie, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Now when this game first released, people were, let's just say, uh, a little upset. <laughs> This game did not have one of the best times after releasing, mainly because pretty much almost 90% of what people expected to be in the game wasn't actually in the game. And not only that, there was a lot of bugs. I remember one time when I was playing, I just straight up fell through the planet and I didn't even die. I was just trapped there in a, in a void in the gravity of the planet. The person who created this game was also the person who was doing all the interviews pre-launch, Sean Murray. Now, based on these interviews, you wouldn't expect him to be lying about the game. He seems like he's telling the truth. Will you be able to play with your friends? Right? <laughs> yeah. Now, unfortunately, with this game, too, it came out around the time after one of the worst hype train releases of all time, Destiny 1, which kind of set it back after this game released. A lot of people just straight up didn't even want this game anymore, and a lot of them returned it. So now that a lot of the problems that people had when the game first released have been fixed, and a lot of the content that people were expecting is now in the game, how does it fare today? Is it good or is it bad? Well, today I'm going to answer that question by playing the game so you don't have to. There's multiple different ways to play this game. You know, you got your creative mode, all these other things, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go normal. And here we are, zooming through the cosmos. No man's sky. What? Begin initialization. I've never seen this before. Weird. Oh. It's fucking freezing. So this is our starting planet. Ice. <laughs> Great. What do you do in the beginning of the game? This. You do this. What the frick even is No Man's Sky, by the way? Think about Minecraft. You collect materials to then craft things that will help you collect even more materials. So now we need to charge our thermal protection. So now we won't die. That's uh, awesome. That is a, that is a good thing. So this is where we will get our first ship. There we go. We did it. Yay. All right. And because I don't want to go ahead and finish the tutorial and also because I want you guys to be able to experience it, we're going to go into one of my other save files that has a lot more going on. Another thing that this game is about is exploration. Well, what we're trying to do is make an entire universe. So. By entire universe, do you mean something the size of the universe? <laughs> exactly, yeah. As you can see, this is my ship. It's a pretty beefy boy. It's one of the newer ships in the game. And speaking of ships, ships are basically randomly generated. It's it's pretty much the same as everything else in this universe. It's all procedurally generated. There are different ship types. You have fighters, which fight things. You have cargo things, which can haul a bunch of shit. You have shuttles, which nobody likes. And you have solar and exotic. Planets like this one are all procedurally generated. We're going to go into space. Let's go. A little bit of a lag right there. <laughs> and this is why I like solar ships. They just, I think they look cool. Well, let's go ahead and uh, see what happens when we go to a different planet. Let's scan it too, see what it is. It's a rocky planet and we will get there in 46 seconds. We'll get there guys, we'll get there eventually. A few moments later. And we've made it, okay. So a rocky planet. What is a rocky planet? Well, it's a... It's a desert. If you've ever wanted to live in the desert, here's your chance, people. There's big animals, like that thing. It's like a chicken, a goblin, and a reindeer. <laughs> As you can tell, very large. Very large creature. Uh, this is its ass. I'm gonna try killing it. Let's see what happens. And it's dead. That is so sad. Look at its taint. That might be its cloaca right there. Obviously, you don't want to live on a planet like this. So let's check out the other planets in this system. This seems like a great place to live. We got nuclear planets. We have planets that are infested with viruses. We have planets that always rain. Uh, planets that have been abandoned. And uh, deserts that will set you on fire. 
But, but at least we got at least one tropical planet. Can't be that bad, can it? Half of the game is waiting. <laughs> a good thing about traveling to planets is I, I guess you could, you know, get up and take a piss while you're waiting. Orange and blue. I don't know how many times I've seen a goddamn orange planet. I did find a planet one time that looked like Cheeto dust, which was um, interesting. I called it Cheese Puff. Yes, yeah, very, very nice looking planet. I don't know about the orange water. Water looks like Fanta over here. You know what I just realized? This is a Doritos planet. You got the regular Doritos and you got the cool ranch. This is a Doritos planet. I don't know what that green stuff is. It's probably just moldy Dorito. What is this thing? That is a little tiny. I like this thing. I don't know what this is, but I want one. I'm going to adopt him now. Look at that. <laughs> nice. His name is Karatil Watilla. Yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> I think I'll keep him. Let's see what the weather's like. It says the weather is. Oh. Like here, we're at the boundary between two warring factions. I could join in, I could take sides. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck you. Suck it. Oh, he thinks he's fast. He thinks he's clever. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There he is. Damn, he's got big shields. And he's almost there. Dead. Got him. Jeez. Whoa. Okay. So that's pretty much how you do that. Now in this game, you can also jump to different star systems, which is fun. Let's go ahead and launch to here. It says there's water here. So maybe we'll find a nice planet. If we do, that'd be nice. What is happening? All right. Uh... <laughs> You guys really think I'm gonna help you out with this? Okay, maybe. You're slow, you're slow, you suck. Oh, we are in the thick of it now. I wanna make sure I don't hit the freighter because I, I don't want them to hate me. Oh, this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Got him. Shuttles, slow, easy to kill. It is so hard to find enemies using this thing sometimes okay there we go got him how many people are in this oh almost there almost there got him sick Oof. all right i did it and now i will be invited upon the ship well let's see what the captain has to say to us gra okay Oh yeah, and if you don't accept a freighter off in the beginning of the game, you can always pick one up later. This one is pretty cool, but it's green. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll get our first free freighter later. For right now, we will just take our money and leave. So yeah, what's my opinion of the game? Well, I think it's a game that you will enjoy for at least 100 hours. Now, is that worth $60? That's pretty much up to you. However, even though I have played the game, for hundreds of hours, not just a hundred. Uh, I still come back to it every now and then. Like I said before, it's kind of like Minecraft. It's one of those games where you'll play it and you may become jaded by the experience of doing the same thing over and over again. However, there is a lot to experience. And I think that if you haven't played this game before, it's definitely worth checking out. Now, as far as a rating, I would give No Man's Sky an average five out of 10. Now that's not saying that the game's bad, that's just saying that the game is average. Certain people will totally love this game and certain people will not like this game. But again, if you like space games, if you like games where you explore and you collect resources and you craft things and build kind of your own experience throughout playing the game, I think you'll actually enjoy this game. Now, if you're somebody who prefers action, there's definitely parts of that in the game, but it's not the entire experience. This game has a little bit of everything for everyone, but it doesn't really do everything the best. It's kind of like a jack of all trades in that sense. It does a lot of things all right, but it doesn't do everything great. So yeah, that's my opinion of the game. If you guys like this video, please click the like button. It took me a long time to make this, so I would really appreciate it if you guys uh, would click that like button and support the channel. 
Also, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. After you guys are done clicking that subscribe button, go ahead and check out the other videos linked down in the description of where I got some of the content for this video. Some of the videos that I watched in order to get more information about this game are actually pretty funny and entertaining, so I definitely recommend you guys check those out. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know. On my channel, I make reviews of pretty much any game that has ever come out that has had had some sort of major release and I let you guys know my opinion on it. So if you want to see more of that, go ahead and check out the channel and watch more videos. Other than that, my name is Matters, playing the games that matter, and I will see you next time.